What is up people of YouTube? I'm your host Vernon. This is Sunset Park. Let's fish that. All right guys, since the worldwide pandemic started, uh, I have not been to Sunset Park. Uh, so that almost makes it one year that I have not been to Sunset Park. Uh, so I'm quite excited again to get out here and do some fishing. Uh, this is a this is a bit different from my normal types of fishing. Rather than going out spending a day somewhere, we are taking a session uh, after work, coming out here for a few hours to see what fish we can find. After investigating on fish brain, uh, I noticed that people are catching small carp and some channel catfish. Uh, that seems to be what they're catching the last few uh, weeks here at Sunset Park. So that is what we're going to be targeting out here today. So we are two licensed anglers out here today. So we're allowed to use four rods between the two of us, but we're not going to use four rods today. Uh, we're going to use three. The one I have out here, this is set up for my carp setup. I'm not going to show you guys that down in the video description part. There is a video or a clickable link to take you to the video where I explain my carp setup. If you want to check that out. Just had a little bite on that one. So we just had a little hit on that one, but unless that thing is running out there, I know it's only small fish nibbling on the baits. So I'm going to leave it soaking for a while. Uh, on the second rod I'm using out here today, we have a Carolina rig, a normal lead weight with a barrel swivel, piece of leader with a very small hook with some night crawlers on there. The reason why we're using night crawlers, we have lots of small fish around. So anything like carp, catfish, bluegill, green sunfish, even bass, anything like that will go for night crawlers. So we're going to have a small hook with a small piece of night crawlers out there to see what we can find around. We have the same Carolina rig set up on this third rod that we're going to use. And on this one, we are using some power baits uh, for catfish. Uh, this shallower area is known for having some catfish at night. So that's why we're using these power baits out here for some catfish to see if we can find any channel catfish in the shallower parts when the catfish come from the deep water to the shallow water to come and feed at night. All right guys, seems like we have our first little fish on. <laughs> just to show you guys this is a baby little carp small guy out there hoping to get something a bit bigger than this one but we'll bait up again and try again all right guys so we're going to release this little guy in the net we don't want to drop him down there we're just going to release him slowly with the net back into the water all right guys nothing big but that at least means we can get rid of a little skunk we're not getting skunked today, so we can throw this thing away. And let's rebate, see if we can find some more. Here we have a tiny little green sunfish as well. We're going to get him back into the water.
And there we are guys, bluegill as well. That's three species for today, but all very small. All right guys, gonna get our little bluegill back in the water as well. And here we go guys, four little species for today. This is a baby channel catfish. Tiny little channel catfish, four little species for today. Quickly gonna unhook this guy and get him back into the water. All right guys, and there we have tiny little carp only getting small guys out here, but we expected nothing less than that. Uh, the small fish, lots of them out there. The big fish don't get to your baits as quickly as these small guys do. That's why we're getting a lot of these small little fish. All right, guys, cute little carp. Quickly going to get him back into the water. And here we have two fish for the price of one. Up. Small baby channel catfish and a baby carp. Let's quickly get them unhooked and back into the water. All right guys, tiny baby carp, getting him back. I'm letting the baby carp go first because they are a bit softer than these little channel catfish. Catfish tend to stay alive longer outside of the water. They're not as fragile. So let's quickly get this little catfish back as well. All right, so baby channel cat, this one's grunting. Doubt that you'll be able to hear it. A tiny catfish grunting. Let's get him back. Alright guys, lots of baby carp out here, catching a lot of them, getting this one back into the water. Okay ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this was not uh, the best planned trip there ever was. I forgot to bring my GoPro mount, uh, so we had some problems with that and there has been quite a lot of footage that we didn't gather thought I was recording turns out I wasn't so a lot of footage that I cannot show you guys but we had pretty good time out here caught lots of fish unfortunately everything rather small and uh, didn't matter if we go for corn or we use night crawlers every, anything you throw out there you tend to get these small little fish uh, I've seen some guys catch some bigger channel catfish uh, uh, the secret they told me is to use some shrimp uh, don't know if you guys know if shrimp works in these type of ponds please do comment down below and yet this was not the most successful video ever uh, we caught quite a lot of fish out there but nothing big but to be honest with you guys i kind of expected that to happen and kind of prefer it as well uh, this is a normal weekday 
uh, the, my options were to sit at home and binge watch some series like I do every day or come out here and have a great time catching all these small fish out here. Uh, if I had the choice, I would do this every day, but even my wife has her limitations on how much fishing we can do. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for following me out here today on this very strange fishing trip. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a little thumbs up. Feel free to ask any questions down below. If you are new to my channel or this is the first video of mine you're seeing, consider hitting the subscribe button, joining my community, and go have a look at what other videos I have on my channel. All right, but that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.